What's up guys, welcome to my channel, Go With Chris, Puro Vida. We are in Jaco, Costa Rica. Morning, Sunday morning. I just found out that everything <laughs> opens late. I was trying to get coffee, everything's closed. I mean, actually there's one coffee shop that was open. But I've already been there, so I want to go try something else. And on top of that, I did go to the farmer's market, but that was closed. It is 7 o'clock. Appreciate you guys taking a look. Leave it in the comments if you guys been to Costa Rica. Taco. Came in for a vacation short, but on low season, so it wasn't that much people. It's pretty much going on. Watch. Yeah, it is a you get like a small island vibe where everything opens late. People are great, culture is great. Um, I got really nothing to complain about besides the fact that everything opens late. <laughs> Being from California, everything just fast pace. Everything's open early. Right here, there's no rush, right? The saying goes, it's puro vida. I did say baby, I saw baby crocodile here. Another day. So far, everything needs to be closed. Except the subway. So, next goal is trying to get coffee or we'll walk around on a Sunday morning in Hako. So there's only a certain area on this strip, the main strip, where it actually has uh, nightlife. Other than that, there's really nothing going on. Yeah, there's a... Um, it's only limited to a certain spot and then a uh, load of bars that way. From what I've seen on YouTube, it seems like nobody goes around this time. Yeah, it's pretty... Not what I expect. I do have a KFC though. Do you get what I'm saying? Look, check this out. Ooh, popo. Yeah, this is Hako Sunday morning. But yeah, Hako is such a great place though. I mean, I've met some great people, very nice people. Uh, 
I, I actually enjoyed the food. Tried a couple spots. I went to a local spot. It's called a sold out where they cook authentic um, Costa Rican food. It's good. We had this rice with the, with the black beans and chicken on it. It looked like a fried rice, similar to a fried rice. Woo! Amazing. Oh, this is a park right here. Check this out. Local park. And they have this cool hotel right here. I'm telling you guys, Sunday morning, seems like everybody's asleep. So far though, I've been in Hako for three days and I'm enjoying it. Did two excursions to the uh, Tortuga Island for a whole day. Came with lunch, went on a boat ride, uh, snorkeling, and then it even comes with a hike. Had that, that was fun. Post that video up. I'll probably link it with this one. And then I did the adventure park yesterday. Where you did the ATVs zip line for how much did I spend? Uh, it was like 120 per person. Not bad. The only thing is, uh, Hako is very touristy price. Um, so regular cup of coffee will cost you 1,000. Three, four. A regular cup of coffee can cost you four or five bucks. And then Yeah, but some and then some other places felt like it was uh, California prices. Other than that, I ain't complaining. I support your local communities and yeah, I had nothing to complain, everything was good. So I'm gonna hit up that coffee shop right here, watch. Right there in a little bit. I'm gonna finish for them to open up. We'll walk. I'll walk this way. Oh, this is where I saw the Canelo fight last night. This is a pretty cool bar. Older crowd. And Hako is relatively clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll keep walking around. Wait till that coffee shop opens up. They're setting up right now, so. Yeah. It's very, I'm telling you, it's very small town vibes. With the, with the nightlife. It's wild. The beers usually cost between, I was paying between, yeah, I'd say 350, three bucks, three to four bucks, depending where you're uh, at. Hmm. Oh, what? There's a solar spot. You guys are in luck. Let's go check that out. See if it's open right there.
Ain't no stop signs or stop lights. Ooh, more coffee right there. Actually, I found another coffee spot. We'll go over there. Oh, yes. Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get that right now a little bit. Get some coffee first. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Uh, come, uh, ¿Qué hora abierto? Oh, abierto. Sí. Oh, okay. Un momento, café en el primer break. Gracias. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to get some coffee and then uh, we'll go ahead up that traditional Costa Rica food. It's actually called soda because it's... That's where all the locals eat. Hell yeah. Hi. Uh, one black coffee, please. Uh, Yeah, not, uh, yeah. That's cool. One thing about Costa Rica that's different from the other countries I visited, they take American Express everywhere right here. <laughs> I was just surprised. Usually the American Express is the hardest. Asia hardly ever takes American Express unless you're at the mall. But right here, even little places like that, like the soda uh, local spot, they take uh, American Express. And the coffee here is... Costa Rican coffee is pretty good. Try the drip coffee and I'm just gonna get rid of coffee. Done. Wait for this. Be right back. Cheers. Let's go get some soda. So this uh, coffee cost me 1,700 colones. Comes up to a little bit over uh, three dollars and some change for a regular black coffee, large. And we're gonna get this breakfast going. Ooh, back at it. I'm gonna get that rice with chicken. Get that right there. And that. And plantain. That sausage. And he's delivering fresh bread. Fresh bread, amigo? Yeah. Is it still hot? Caliente? Mm -hmm. Si? Sí? Wow. How in, in poco, like small? 700? 700? In Hapo. <laughs> I tell you, everybody's cool here.
This is actually his bread right here. I'll try it. Hola. Hola. Para llevar. Sí, por favor. Looks amazing. Let's try this Gracias. So four thousand two hundred like eight bucks. All right, let's try this out. Bread like similar um French bread. Let's try this out. Favorite part plantain. Oh man. Mom, um, what is this? Oh, that's cheese. Finish this food, but I'm gonna say it's really good. No lie though, I destroyed that food, was delicious. And I got end up getting two coconuts. This pretty much sums up my um, Hako Costa Rica trip. Today, I'll be, I'm gonna be heading out to uh, San Jose. I'm gonna go walk around there, vlog as much as I can. Take you guys along, but well, pretty much the first half, second half will be in San Jose. See how that's like. But overall, Hago Costa Rica, solid destination, tourist destination, is definitely worth going. I mean, culture, food, people, especially, amazing. And you got one of the best coffees, for my opinion. And then 
for some weird reason, these coconuts right here, I've had six of them. They all taste the same. It's good, it's sweet. Yeah. That sums up. Catch you guys in San Jose in a little bit.